Well, I took about a week off. But uh, I'm back at it. I cleaned out the pumpkin. I have the pinion gear in there. I'm actually torquing it now, and it's finally sliding together because the, uh, the nut right here. Now, this is a nut I took off. When they, uh, when they put the rear end on, the front pinion gear that this threads onto, the shaft that it threads onto, gets rusty. And uh, three little rows of rust destroyed this nut, so I had to get a new nut. I got a new nut, and it's all sucking together nice. It's got about an eighth of an inch to go. I don't know if you can see anything, but it's in there. Um, I just got to torque it down. So I had to grind the tip to just a little bit of a point to take off two threads, because it ruined it. It ruined the end. Um, those two or three threads that stick out turn to rust, and when you unscrew it, it ruins that nut. So there's... That nut was 15 bucks, last one they had at the dealership, thank God. Now this is the fill cap right there, if you can see it. That means I gotta go get the wire, that's my alarm clock. Ah. Alarm clock. But um, I'm putting it in now, thank God. The pinion gear is in, it's just gotta be torqued, and I'm gonna do that in a few. I gotta make a bar that connects the two of the bolts on the uh, face of that. And then I have my ratchet to tighten it, and then I have a reducer. I got a. It has to have 20 inch pounds of uh, fight on the bearing. I'm gonna can clean up the gears, the ring gear, and uh, put all that stuff in, and the brackets and the things. Those are 77 foot pounds, and the clamps are 77 foot pounds. So look at the freaking rust. I just painted that. I keep seeing that, but um, it's going okay. I've been away from it for a while. I'll take a break. But uh, yeah, I got my uh, shafts. I don't know if I mentioned it. I got them redrilled. They now fit five look Chevy Krieger SS's. My uh, slip, uh, what do you call it? Ring gear with the 355s on it is right there. But it's time to put all that stuff in. And that's my only suspension right now is a 2x4. Um, you're supposed to do. This twerking is supposed to do it outside the car. You can do it in the car, but it's a little tricky. I have to make a bar to do it. Something that'll reach to the floor and hold it from turning while I'm torquing it. But uh, I'm here, having fun. I've been on this thing all day, straightening out the shaft, getting a new nut. Uh, I got the gear oil over there, straight ahead. I have the limited slip additive that you put in it. I have three or four cans of brake cleaner. I have, uh, I gotta go get the studs. Uh, what the heck else did I buy? I forget. I have 99.9% .9 of what I need. All I need is the studs. That one's got five. That one's got four or three. But. Okay, having fun. Okay, well, we did the paint trick on the rear end. The gear center nice. I got the cover on with the gasket and silicone. I did check that emergency brake. It was a little crooked. I found out what was wrong, and that's been fixed. The brake lines are there. We have all 10 wheel studs in the correct locations about freaking time. I just got to put the uh, rotors on, the calipers over them, and uh, that's it. I got to put oil in it. The, uh, I didn't put the magnet inside because the cap in the front has a magnet on it. So that worked out pretty good. But, uh, let's get the brakes back on, the wheels back on to get this thing on the freaking ground. 
but I'm working in direct sunlight here. It's right behind me. All right, got to get the oil in there. It's my little build the rear end trick. You got a hose all the way down into the front for the pumpkin. Right there. There it is. Thing is, pouring gear, gear oil is like pouring maple syrup. Gonna be a while. Using uh, Valvoline 8090, and I just put the additive in for the uh, limited slip there around. That's right here. It's called Transex. Fuzzy Track Limited Slip Gear Oil Additive. Gotta have it. Yeah, this is gonna be a while in itself. Come on, let's go faster. This is a good sign right here. A Chevy wheel on a Ford axle, and all five lug nuts are there. Thank God. Rear end cover, stainless bolts, uh, silicone, dried, all that stuff. This side, the brakes are on, the wheel's right here. I have some of the lug nuts. I screwed up two, and I think I lost a couple, so I'm gonna have to get some. And that fan is a godsend. But it's pouring the gear oil in. And it's slowly draining in. All right, so rear end's done. I think tomorrow we'll take the master cylinder out, see what the hell's going on with the brakes in the back. It sucks, I've got front brakes, i got no rear brakes, no matter what we do. So, uh, that's tomorrow. I got all day into this. I've been to the store, I think, four times. So, studs, uh, gear oil, this, that, the other, funnels, blah, blah, blah. Drive shaft is back in nice and tight, but I'm sweating my ass off. It's right there in the ground. I did get an extra stud too, just for the hell of it. But uh, these are all in, pulled in nice, no problem. Rotor went right on. I'm glad he did it a second time for free. That's a little bit of crap in there. It's a bug. A bug flew into my gear oil. Alright, guys, well, I'm gonna hopefully get it on four wheels and push it out. And uh, start cleaning. I got a mess to clean. I pulled, I think, every tool I have is on the ground and the floor and over here. And, but tomorrow's cleaning day. And I gotta get some lug nuts tomorrow. Everything's closed by now. Alright, man. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Well, I keep saying I'm gonna stop, but I don't. I gotta clean up the mess. She's outside, she's on four wheels. I need two lug nuts and two washers. I'm probably just gonna buy all new lug nuts. Oh, that fan feels good. But, I'm gonna try and organize the mess a little more. So, uh, mass the cylinder, we have brakes. Um, I just stick the gas pedal on, we have gas and we can drive it. Everybody's dying to see it roll, I'm sure. As much as me. But uh, I gotta pick up the mess. Oh, very nice day. Hot. But when you're working, and there's a waterfall coming off the top of your head, it's pretty hot. And, oh, there's the diagram. So, uh, a diagram to the rear end. I already know enough about it. I know enough about it to put three more together. But it's time to clean. Time to clean and uh, you guys can go watch someone else's videos. I'm tired. Have a good night.